all, honey. I don't need you. I want you. It's the difference. I don't have to be here with you right now, okay? You don't do nothing for me that I can't do for myself. Peace family, so this video is going to be about things that women in relationships don't do when they are in a relationship with a man that they respect. So things women don't do when they respect their man. So if your woman does the things on this list, she does not respect you. And if you are a woman watching this and you do the things on this list, then you do not respect your man the way that you may think that you do. Now, this video is not about the morality of things. It is about the technicalities. And technically, we all do things sometimes that may cause people to lose respect for us. So this video is not about who's right and who's wrong. It's not about fault. Um, this video is not gonna be about whether or not a woman is justified in whether or not she does or does not respect you. It's not about that at all. This is just simply the facts. So if she does these things, whether or not she has a reason to lose respect for you or not, the fact is she doesn't respect you if she's doing these things. So the first thing on my list is accepting gifts from men. So if you have a woman that has a coworker that is always buying her flowers and gifts and jewelry and chocolates. He always wants to buy her lunch and things and she is accepting it. She's walking around with that huge smile on her face because some man that she knows wants her is buying her things and she's taking it. She's not shutting it down. She's not telling him, you know what, you need to stop, you need to calm down with that. I have a man, I don't think he would appreciate it. I'm good, I don't want it. If she just allows it to continue to happen, understand that there is some level of entertaining going on there. There is some level of flirting going on there. The man is not going to just keep buying things. He's not gonna be that persistent and continuously buy things for a woman unless he feels that there is in some way a chance that he might can get something from her, you know? So she's entertaining him in some way or she's flirting with him in some way to be putting those type of thoughts into his head. Otherwise, he would not keep doing it. Ain't no man gonna give you a motherfucking thing free. So if she is accepting gifts from a man like that, she is not respecting you or your relationship. A woman that respects her man will tell the man the first time, no thank you, I do not want this, I cannot accept this. She might say, you know, I appreciate it, kind gesture, but I'm good on that thing. Number two is very similar to number one, and that is asking a man for money. Women that do not respect their man have no problem asking other men for money. Now, one could argue that if you have a woman, she shouldn't have to ask other men for money, you know? And I know women that might ask men for money to provide for their man, if that makes any sense. She'll get money from one man to give to the man that she's in a relationship with, you know? But regardless of what, in those moments where she even has to consider asking another man for money, she does not respect the man that she is in a relationship with. Now, of course, I am talking about a woman that is asking a man for money for necessities, for like bills or food or gas or something like that. But if she's just asking for like jewelry and clothes or to go shopping or do something like that, she definitely doesn't respect you. She's just using you and any other man she can get her hands on. But if she feels like she has to go to another man to ask for money for things that are a necessity, trust me, she wants to be able to come to you as her man and ask you for help if she needs something. She wants to be able to ask you. But if she has to ask another man for money, by default, she isn't going to respect you in those moments. She might love you. She might care a lot about you. Again, she might take that money and spend it on you, you know, but she does not respects you as a man. Number three is if she threatens to call somebody on you that she feels has some type of authority over you just because she's mad. So for example, if she threatens to call the cops on you and, and she's that in any way in any harm, you're not doing anything to her, she's not in danger, she's just mad at you, y'all having an argument or whatever. You got or she threatens to call your boss and get you fired, or she threatens to put you on child support just because she's not getting her way and you're, you are taking care of your children. Why well, I see you still texting and flirting with your little friend from Facebook. Okay, well I guess she 
can help you pay these child support bills after I take you to court next month. Okay? Okay? How you like that? If she threatens to put you in any type of position or situation that somebody else has authority over you, then basically the thought process with that is like these people can put you in check. You should be afraid of these people. When it comes to these people, you're weak. When it comes to these people, you're inferior. You should be timid. It's kind of like saying, I'm going to call Massa on you. I'm going to tell Massa on you. And Massa will get you in check. He'll put you in check. That's, that's kind of the thought process behind women that do that. Whether or not she actually will do it or not, the fact that a woman will go so far as to threaten to call those type of people on you and put you in that type of position is a woman that does not respect you because again she feels like these are people that you should be afraid of she feels like these people are superior to you and these people have some type of authority over you as a man so any woman that would even consider taking that route does not respect her man number four is going to be when a woman maintains close bonds with her platonic male friends and she doesn't set any real boundaries with these men. You ain't gotta worry about him, we just friends, we just friends. I know him for so long, it ain't nothing like that. It ain't nothing like that. We're real cool, that's my homie. But understand, when you do something wrong, she's gonna vent to homie. And you know what they say, a shoulder to cry on becomes a entanglement. Don't be dumb. Once a woman gets into a committed relationship with a man, she should start cutting ties with her platonic male friends. There should be some boundaries set. You should not still be texting other men and talking to them on the phone and still hanging out with them. You shouldn't let certain comments just fly, you know, because honestly, most men don't just stick around in the friend zone for no reason. And I'm not saying that's all men. I'm not saying that's all men, but the harsh reality that a lot of us don't want to admit to or acknowledge is that if we as women, if we were to call every single last one of our male friends, every single last one of our single male friends, and if we were to say to them, hey, you want to have sex? Majority of them would say, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Majority of them would say, yes men probably would not have that same effect if they were to call all of their female friends and ask them that same question. Now, I'm not saying that every single guy is your friend just because he wants to sleep with you. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying very few men are gonna hang around in the friend zone just waiting for you to fall in love with some other man unless y'all are just really, really close and y'all been close for a very long time and he just not attracted to you at all. But if he's attracted to you and there is some type of chemistry there, which there has to be if you're friends, then he might want more out of the relationship and so out of respect for your relationship and for your man you have to cut ties with people that would even consider being in a relationship with you you know that is of course if you're a loyal person um so again if your woman keeps these male friends around then she does not respect you she does not respect the relationship. Number five is correcting you or disagreeing with you in like a really assertive, aggressive way in public. Like she is not going to correct you in front of other people and tell you that you're wrong in front of other people, tell you that you don't know what you're talking about in front of other people. Even if you are wrong, she might pull your coattail and she might just say, you know, I'm not, I'm not really sure about that or, or something like that or I'm not sure if I really agree with that, but she's going to leave it there. She's not going to have a full-blown disagreement out in front of everybody else. She's not going to have an argument with you in front of everybody else. She's not going to try to correct you and belittle you and try to make you feel dumb in front of everybody. You always have to embarrass me. Look at you, Marcus. You are an embarrassment, okay? Could you lay off of that for a while? Could you go to hell for a while? Not going to do that. She's gonna save it for when you get in the car or when you go home. And even then, she's gonna do it in a feminine way. She's not gonna be barking at you and 
again making you feel like you're like this small a woman that respects her man is not going to undermine him especially in front of other people number six is when she tries to make you jealous on purpose now if you're dealing with a younger more naive woman then you know you're gonna have to work with her you know teach her let her know that that's not the best way to go about getting your attention and that's not the best way to get you to show that you care or whatever her goal is with that you know because at the young age they they don't know any better they're just you know they're still learning but if you're dealing with a woman that's in her, like her mid-20s and older and she is still trying to make you jealous on purpose by like flirting with other men or letting you see other men flirt with her or posting very revealing pictures on social media for other men to like and heart and and make really sexual inappropriate comments underneath then she does not respect you because in essence what that means is that she is encouraging other men to think about her body she is encouraging the idea that other men could possibly have her if she is flirting with other men or allowing other men to flirt with her because she wants to make you jealous she is allowing them to believe that they might possibly have a chance with her you get what i mean any woman that allows or encourages that thought process in other men, she does not respect her relationship. She does not respect you. She doesn't really respect herself, you know? So that's, that's a big one right there. That's never a good idea to try to make a man jealous <laughs> by flirting with other men or trying to get him to see that other men still want you. Oh my God, he's gonna want me so much more after he find out that I've been flirting with and showing my body to all of these men and all of these men want this yoni. <laughs> Number seven is when she says anything that is demeaning, when she says anything that is disrespectful. If she tells you she doesn't need you, if she calls you a boy, if everything she says has a little in it, your little this, your little friends, your little job, your little whatever, just anything that can come out of her mouth that will make you feel undervalued, underappreciated as a man. First of all, honey, I don't need you. I want you. It's the difference. I don't Women that respect their men try to speak positive affirmations to their men. They don't try to tear them down with their words. They want to uplift them with their words. They want to encourage them. They want to inspire them. They don't try to make them feel bad about themselves. So women that use their words to try to destroy their man or tear them down, they do not respect their man. And I don't care how mad a woman is, she is not going to tell you that she doesn't need you or that she doesn't care about you or that you ain't never going to be nothing. She will never say those things if she respects you. Number eight is going to be when a woman makes boss decisions or executive decisions um, that are going to in some way impact or affect you but she doesn't get your input on it first she doesn't involve you in the decision making she literally makes decisions for you and for your life women that have no problems with pretty much planning their man's life and telling him what he's going to do and what he needs to do because that's really what it is when you're making decisions for him you're pretty much telling him what he needs to do and what he's going to do without getting his input women that do that absolutely don't respect their man they don't respect him as a man you're treating him like he's a child what happened well then you build a damn attic then Norman and then clean it I'm going upstairs to take a bubble bath like he's some little teenager that can't think for himself you know and it's very disrespectful women that respect their man will always get his input first they will always talk to him before making a final decision about anything that has anything to do with him if it's going to affect him in any way she's going to talk to him about it out of respect 
Number nine is going to be telling your personal business to other people. A woman that respects you is not going to tell your personal business to people that you don't even talk to, people that you don't even know. Some women, they just gossip so much and they have to have something to talk about or someone to talk about so badly that it just comes out and they don't even realize it. But unless you're seeking help from someone because of um, some type of situation you're going through, you don't need to tell your man's business. Um, and women that do that, they have no problem with talking about whatever his financial situation is, whatever his health situation is, whatever is going on in y'all's relationship, whatever he did or didn't do around the house, you know, that is disrespectful. Whatever is going on in your household needs to stay within your household. Whatever's happening with him, needs to stay between just you and him you know if he trusts you enough to tell you some of these things then that means he trusts that you're going to keep it in the house and ladies please understand that it is really hard to build trust and it's so easy to lose it or take it away you know and so if a man trusts you to tell you his secrets, if he trusts you to tell you the things that he's feeling, if he trusts you to be honest and open with you about the areas in which he feels insecure or where he feels like he comes short, and you go out and you expose that to other people or you put it on social media because you're mad. That's why your thing don't get hard no more and you lost your job and you be begging and crying and asking me for money all the time. and. Oh my God, that, that is, not only is it disrespectful, it is disloyal, it is stupid. Don't do that. And the last one, number 10, is when a woman, A, yells at you, like she like barks on you and screams at you and tries to yell over you. And when she like puts her hand in your face and like, I see when women like poke men like in the head and like mush their face. Get out. Don't put your finger in my face. Leave. Terry, I do want to. Out. To me, it's like saying, like, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Like, you, like you're like you begging for someone to, you know, just whoo. I can't stand that. Any woman that put her hands up in your face like that, she is a woman that definitely does not respect you at all. You know, don't do not do it, brothers. Just, just don't don't do it don't fall for it don't do it just walk away <laughs> so that's it for this video these are 10 things that women don't do when they are in relationships with men that they respect peace and much love family